Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you can enable the built-in Windows Administrator account. So let's say you are only a standard user and you don't have any other accounts on your computer that have admin rights that you could use to maybe change your standard user to an admin user. Or let's say you just want to enable the built-in Administrator account in general. All right, so we're going to show you how you could do this so that way even if you're not a local admin on your computer you could still enable the Administrator account. If you are a local admin, then there's an easier way to do this just with a command. So I'll put a link in the description for a video that shows you how to enable the built-in administrator account if you are already an admin on your computer, because if that's the case, you don't have to go through this whole process. So this is more for people who only have standard accounts and want to enable the built-in administrator so they could log in with that to take care of special tasks or to give their standard account admin rights. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is download this Hiren's Boot CD. So it's a free download. So once you download it, you're going to either need to make a bootable flash drive or burn it to a CD if you have a CD player. And it shows you how to do so using Rufus. I'll also put a link in the description for a Rufus video so you can check that out. So once you have that done, you just need to boot to that CD or flash drive. And by the way, when you download it, you go to the download section here. It's at the bottom. This right here, don't click on these ads, click on this file name to download it. And then you can burn it to your flash drive or your CD DVD. Okay, so I already have it downloaded and mounted. So I'm going to restart the computer to have it boot to that ISO file that we downloaded, the Hiren's Boot CD. You're also going to need to know how to change your boot order or press whatever key on your keyboard, F2 or whatever, to change your boot order. So it'll boot to this CD or flash drive rather than back into Windows. So I'm going to do that right now and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're booting to the Hiren's Boot CD. It kind of looks like a Windows screen. Okay, so once it's fully loaded, you'll have like a Windows desktop here. So this will not be your desktop, so you're not going to be able to get to your files and do your normal stuff here. So if you click on the Start button, you'll have some suggested apps here. And if you go to All Programs, you'll have all kinds of accessories and tools you could use to troubleshoot your system. But what you want to go to is Security, Passwords, and then this LaySoft Password Recovery. These two won't do anything for you, so this is the one you want to go to. Okay, you want to have it on the reset windows password option, not the find product key, unless you want to find your product key. Okay, it gives you a warning here saying it's for non-commercial use only, blah, 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 say yes. Okay, reset local password, that's the option you want. Okay, so it's going to show you your accounts here. So here is the built-in administrator account. As you can see, it is disabled, but it's not locked. So what you want to do is select it, click on next. Okay, so with this free version, you can't change the password. You could only unlock it and reset it so it has a blank password. So you want to click on reset, unlock. Okay, now you can see it's not disabled and it's not locked out, but there's no password. So click on finish. And then you could go restart the computer. And then after this is done, we'll go back into Windows and show you how it works. Okay, so as you can see, we have all of our accounts listed, the same ones we had before. We could just assume these were standard accounts and not administrator accounts. That's why we were doing this to begin with. So now if we click on administrator, you see it logs in with no password. And it's going to have to do this uh, initial profile setup like it does for any new user accounts. So we'll pause and be back when this is done. Okay, then of course you could go through all the privacy settings. If you want to just, you know, turn them off, for example, that's what I like to do. Okay, so now we have the administrator account. Okay, then if we go to the settings, you can see administrator local account there. And if you also do any TPLWIZ, you can see that the administrator account is part of the administrator's group, just like so. And then you could go through and let's say uh, this one here is not an admin. 
you could go in here and make it an admin if you want, or you could also do it from the Windows settings under accounts, other users, change account type, and make it an admin from there. So like I said, this comes in really handy if your user account is only a standard user and you want to convert it to an administrator account, or if you just want to enable the built-in administrator account to take care of your admin tasks. All right, so I will put a link in the description for the Hiren CD and for the other videos, and then you could try it for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.